there are multiple trends that are shaping up, uh, especially the infrastructure is getting built. A lot of the chains are now getting co collaborative, and we are having some very interesting projects in the infrastructure space. Also, the metaverse is becoming more and more real now. So the applications that are there in the metaverse, I mean, they are coming out, and that, that brings in the NFT plays, and blockchain becomes a big part of the metaverse. So all those enabling technologies, I think that's going to be the biggest trends of, of, of uh, this coming year. Well, for the developers, uh, one of the advices that I would give is uh, try to get into the core of the systems. And that's what I have done in my previous life. I mean, I was always in the deep technology space. Also, not get into the fluff of things which can wash off in every cycle. So you need to really identify things that are here to stay. And for that, you really need to get into the core stuff. And you need to identify what that core stuff is. So I have always a eye for what you are developing. So last year, we ended up investing in uh, one of the very good companies called D-Wallet Labs, or Odyssey Network for that matter. And uh, I mean, apart from the money game, then uh, I think it is a fabulous technology. Uh, one of the guys who is into this particular company is a Fields Matter Maths uh, winner, which is like one guy gets in a year. And they have developed a really new technology to kind of have the entire wallet decentralized. We invested at X valuation in just six months, it is 10X. And I think it is going to be a 100X, 1000X kind of company. And I think that's a very good decision to make. So last year, of course, there was a lot of these things about uh, getting, getting into a lot of the fluff that was created. We tried to avoid most of the things, like we had some things in FTX, uh, which were uh, there, there and we were trading from the F FTX exchange. But at the right time, we were able to take out most of the stuff, but we did suffer losses. So, I mean, those kind of things to not get your money stuck into centralized places, mostly uh, you have to be non-custodian or uh, decentralized stores where you need to keep uh, most of your assets. So challenges is getting the confidence back into a lot of the good things that are happening in the blockchain space. Uh, given the, uh, the device of a number of companies due to right or wrong, whatever the reasons may be, uh, I think general public and investors in general have lost confidence uh, in some of the core things that are happening which are actually very good and real technology which is getting built uh, because ultimately there will be many applications that are going to be built on blockchain and that's a fact that nobody can change because it's it's a trend that is that's going to stay and it's going to be for the long term so getting that confidence back is going to be a real big challenge for this year and I think we are going to do well by bringing out some really good companies with good applications uh, to the real world if if those kind of things start coming out I think it will be good so for the traditional VCs, so we, I've tried to work very closely. In fact, most, I've been investing for the last 10 years. In fact, I am an investor in some of the top unicorns in India. Uh, one of the most successful angel investors in India. And I work very closely with a lot of VCs there. Uh, most of the VCs don't understand the tokenomics part of the entire uh, web, web. They think of this as a crypto and trading and the, that stuff. But, but the, how the tokenomics kind of helps into the market high to what the ownership is uh, and how a tokenomics should be built into the system. Today's VCs are not ready for that. They don't even have the legal infrastructure and the understanding of how tokenomics work. So that's one big gap, I think, which VCs need to fill. VCs have very good eye in identifying technology, business, founders, passion, those kind of things already exist. So if they can fill in this and they can understand this whole space, get a little deeper apart from the crypto uh, thing that's above there, but uh, get a little deeper as to what's getting paid, I think it will be good. You see any new, so I was here in the 90s, I saw the uh, Nasdaq up and Nasdaq crash, uh, seen uh, the internet get built. First application in any new technology is gaming. Always is. And people flock to new technology through gaming. That is what is happening with what we are seeing in blockchain, in metaverse, and those kind of stuff. 
gaming is a very very big application for the metaverse it's the first and initial application as it has always been it's a big business but it will be a proof of concept so once it is proved a lot of other applications will come into it seeing the success what gaming has had and i'm sure I mean, we all know there are multiple applications like nfts and so on which you can own game gaming rental application and number of things that you can do just in gaming but those things will have application in real world scenarios too thank you so much thank you